Hey guys, I've got another pin video here for you. And today it is a comparison video of four popular pocket fountain pens. <clears throat> now with this video, uh, we're really gonna go into not super in-depth detail about every single fountain pen, but I am gonna have break it down into four categories. So the first category is gonna be materials and aesthetics. So just kind of briefly talk about materials and you know the overall appearance of the pen second category is going to be mechanical so for instance uh, filling system uh, what does the nib look like feed all of those things and then form and function and with that one primarily just is a pen postable how does it post how does it fit in the hand is it comfortable to write with all of those type of things and then the last category will just be a brief writing sample um, and i'll share of course how much each one of these pens cost and everyone has the opportunity to vote on what their favorite fountain pen is. So if you go up to the top right and click the little icon button up there, the I card, you can actually vote on which pen you would prefer. So if you happen to be someone that's never bought a pocket fountain pen and is looking at one, if not all four of these pens, you can see what the uh, fountain pen community says their favorite is, for instance. So let's get it started kicked off now real quick i'm going to kind of say which each one of these are so the top one here we have a the like alpha in the resin material and then right underneath that we have a moon man in two right here we have a pen bbs 471 and then the last one on here we have a moon man wong kai so our first category is materials and aesthetics. So I'll start with the top pin, the Delike Alpha. Now the Delike Alpha, it comes actually in a wide range of materials. It has aluminum, brass, and acrylic. So different metals. Um, I'm sure I'm leaving something out there. Um, the really nice thing about the acrylics, from what I can tell, there's roughly about six different colors. So you've got a wide range of, of really nice acrylic colors. Um, I purchased this one here, which is kind of their cracked ice look. And <clears throat> this is a very nice uh, blue acrylic resin. You can see that it has some transparent properties there as well. But just a really nice pen. Their metal ones, I do not own one, but I do know that um, a lot of people enjoy the metal pens. I'm not a huge metal pen person. But I will say that the finishes on those pins looks nice. They do come in a wide range of colors as well. And I've even seen some what seem to be almost limited edition type releases on those pins where they didn't release that many. Now you could see some of those on resale, for instance, on eBay. Um, the second pin here is the Moon Man N2. Now, this is a little bit newer as far as the pocket pins go. Now, one thing you'll notice about this pin, it definitely has more of a traditional um, shape to it, kind of that dual fold style shape with the flat ends. You've got just a standard clip here, your standard cap band as well. Now, this one is not available in as many materials. It mainly comes in an acrylic material that you see here. This is the kind of like the koi finish or the red finish. And then it also has a black and white finish, which um, oddly enough, I've seen it listed as the cow finish or cow colorway. And it does, it looks like a, a, a dairy cow, so to speak. Um, but those are the only two offerings that the N2 comes in that I've been able to see. Now this pin BBS 471 is a very interesting pin. Very similar in its overall design as far as the Moon Man Wong Kai. You'll notice that you've got this metal band here, which kind of adds some additional weight to the pen. As far as materials that it's offered, it's primarily acrylic from what I've been able to tell. It does look like there's some just basic plastic clear uh, materials, and there is a multitude of colors. Um, I did not go on and check all the different colors, but there is a very wide range of colors available on the pin BBS. And then our last one down here is our Moon Man Wong Kai. 
And this one is available primarily in this plastic material that you see here. It's kind of like an injection molded plastic. Um, I think this one is probably the most attractive one in my opinion, just because it has these really nice cloud effects in the material. And it is available in a fully transparent clear version, a green transparent version, or this one that you see here with the clouds. Um, of course, they're all transparent. Now, <clears throat> they did make um, ebonite or hard rubber versions of these pens. From what I have been able to tell though, they are all sold. I have not seen any of them drop on eBay or any other um, online websites in quite some time. And of course there was a big price difference um, with <clears throat> the ebonite versions of the Wong Kai. Now as far as materials go, which I think pens um, are the nicest and really gives you a wide range, meaning what you might enjoy as far as giving you choices, so to speak. I think the Pen BBS 471 is definitely up there. I would give it kind of the nod as far as overall materials, even though it doesn't maybe have all the metal options that the uh, Delight Alpha has. I think there's just there's almost a color out there for everyone on the Pen BBS. Um, now, as far as aesthetics, in my viewpoint, as far as when I look at these four pins, what I really enjoy looking at, I do still gravitate towards the Delike Alpha. I just like the overall shape and design of the pen. Um, what, whether it probably be that metal version, they're about the same as far as overall shape and design. And I just think aesthetically speaking, I think all four pins have, bring their own thing to the table, but I really like the, the design elements of the Delight Alpha. Now that's my opinion. Now, before we move on to mechanical, I am gonna go ahead and let you guys know um, pricing. Bear in mind, pricing is relative based off of where you're buying and how much you are wanting to search to get a deal. But the Delight Alpha, for instance, is going to range you anywhere from $15 to $30 on average. The metal variants are going to be a little bit cheaper, generally speaking, from what I've noticed. The uh, resin or acrylic models, such as this one, are going to be a higher price point, closer to that $30 price point. Now, the Moonman N2 is going to range you about $15 to $18, give or take. Um, most of the pricing I got on these two pins was on eBay, so just FYI on that. Um, <clears throat> you could potentially do a Google search and find these cheaper somewhere else. Now our pin BBS 471 has again another really wide range of pricing. It is available anywhere from $14 to $35. $14 being kind of that lower, uh, probably more mass produced acrylic and the more rare versions are gonna be a higher price point, of course. And then our Moonman Wan Kai is anywhere from 13 to $20. So again, wide range of pricing. You know, at the end of the day, just take your time, look for it. Keep these prices in mind throughout this video as we're continuing to go move on to the mechanical section next because I think that's a big part. At the end of the day, the pen has to write and that's what you buy it for. So we're moving on to mechanical category next. All right, so now we're moving on to our second category, which is mechanical. So in this category, we're gonna talk about filling systems. That's why actually I have these two with their barrels completely off. We're gonna kind of look at the nib briefly, just kind of talk, talk about that, and as well as the feed as well. Um, and, and really talk about the versatility on the filling system. So we'll start up top with our Delight Alpha first. Now you'll notice with our Delight Alpha, we have a converter or it is a cartridge converter system. One thing that you'll notice that I really like is it has a full size converter here, which I think is a very nice upgrade from the uh, original Caveco Sport design, for instance. So you get a, a greater ink capacity here, which I think is a great thing. But one thing that's I think really nice about this pen as well is some of the versatility about it. So you could actually eyedropper this fountain pen because you don't have metal pieces here. This is one machined unit right here of acrylic. Your barrel as well has again, no metal in it. 
and you could easily eyedropper this fountain pen. So you really, you have a three in one filling system with this. You can use a cartridge if you wanted to, you've got a converter, or you could eyedropper the fountain pen if you want a much greater ink capacity. So definitely a nice versatility. <clears throat> now our Moonman N2 here, you'll notice we have a metal collar here. And so of course you can't eyedropper the fountain pen. And we've got our kind of push, uh, push pull converter, uh, very similar to what you would have seen on a Caveco uh, Sport, for instance, same type of converter. Now, of course it does come with the pen, so that is nice, but not my, my most favorite design, but we'll kind of leave it at that. Now our last two are just strictly eyedropper fountain pen. So with our pen BBS 471, most of the pen is really the cap in my opinion. Now you basically put your ink right here. This is your ink reservoir or chamber here, barrel, whatever you want to call it. And this is where your ink would go. So you unscrew right here, take your section off, and then you eyedropper. One nice thing about it is I did not put any silicone grease on this pen. It does come with a very nice O-ring. You'll notice a lot of tension when you go to take this section off and put it back on for that matter. So it does work very nice. Have had no issues whatsoever as far as leakage goes. And then last but not least, our Moonman Wonkai, the filling system with this, again, is just strictly eyedropper. Now, I did not put any silicone grease on mine either, and it has been perfectly fine, had no leaking issues. Um, I have not had to fill this up. So very nice ink capacity with this one. As far as filling systems go, you know, as far as what I think is the most versatile, um, I would definitely give it to the like Alpha as far as filling system, just because you've got a wide range of up of ability to fill the fountain pen. Now looking at our, our nibs here, now you'll notice, you know, one common theme with three of the pens is that we've got number size five nib. So our Delight Alpha has a number size five nib. This came with the extra fine nib. Now this is the one with an upturn on it. So it kind of writes more like a fine. Um, and I, it, it is a very nice nib, writes very well. Notice our, our Moonman N2, we've got that kind of <clears throat> really traditional uh, Moonman nib that we're starting to see with a lot of Moonman pins. Um, for instance, the S1, uh, I know there's some other models I can't think of off the top of my head, but this seems to be the same type nib, and this is a fine nib. Now, our Pin BBS is the only number six size nib in this category, which I think is a very nice selling point. Our Moonman Wankai, we've got a very nice nib here as well. It's got that iridium point on it as far as the markings, and this is a fine nib also. Now flipping over, we can see our feeds, kind of compare the feeds against each other. So we've got our kind of standard Delight feed here. I've seen this feed on several Delight pens. Um, we notice we've got, from what I can tell, kind of a Chinese feed here. It's got that number on it from, uh, I think when they in inject the plastic, it, the molding has those numbers so they know if there's an issue with the feeds. And then we've got our standard pin BBS feed here. Most of you, if you've purchased a pin BBS pin, you know very well on how their feeds perform. And then from what I've been able to tell, this is uh, on the Moonman Wonkai here, this is a Schmidt feed actually. So this is a German feed. If you compare it to other uh, number five size Schmidt feeds, it is has the same size and shape and overall design looks very, very similar. And the feed works very well with the pen. So for the most part, that really kind of takes up the mechanical portion of it. And for me, this one is kind of difficult because <clears throat> it depends upon what's more important to you. Is it is it the versatility and the filling system? Because in my opinion, the like Alpha, you can't go wrong with it. If you're someone that likes to change out inks a lot, I think that I like Alpha is a good option because you've got the converter set up. You're not necessarily going to be using a, a, a lot of ink. It's pretty easy to clean out, but you can also eyedropper the pen. But if it's really you want to go with a really nice nib, I think the pen BBS with their number six size nib, especially this medium nib, is a very, very good pen to go with. For me, it's kind of a toss up. I like all four of these pens overall as far, I don't mind 
even the N2 and its filling system. It's not my favorite, but um, all the nibs on four, all four of these pins perform well. The feeds do a great job lubricating the nib. So I don't have any complaints there and you'll see that in the writing sample. So up next guys, we are gonna talk about form and function and kind of go through that real quick and then we'll do a writing sample. Okay guys, we are back. So now we're gonna talk about form and function real quick. So form and function again is really dependent upon the user, but I wanna talk about form and function with these pins, show them in their posted form so you can see them all together, so to speak. Now, the other thing is, is do you want a pin with a clip or do you want a pin without a clip? You know, if you've watched any of my videos on these two pins, these I call them my chapstick pins. To give you an idea, I'm wearing my blue jeans right now. Just got a chapstick out. Yes, they're a little bit bigger, but they literally fit in that small part of your, your jeans very well. That small pocket, um, they fit in there very well. All of us wear blue jeans at any given time, but if you're even if you're putting these pins in a purse, they fit well there. But these pins fit good too. If you have a shirt pocket and you're wanting to put pins in a shirt pocket, these might be your best two options. So from that perspective, always look at it from that. You've got a clip here with your Caveco Sport that I think is nice because, and I said Caveco Sport, I mean Delike Alpha, I apologize. But same general design, you can actually remove the clip. So if you don't want to use the clip, or you just feel like changing it up for a day, you can take that away. You have a faceted cap, so it's not gonna be rolling around everywhere on your desk, and that works very well. Um, <clears throat> again, this Moon Man N2 is kind of more of a classic design. You've got a nice clip here. You can take it in and out of a shirt pocket very easily. Now, as far as talking about these pens and their posted form. Now, the Delike Alpha here is a very nice postable pen very gratifying when you post it, and you can really tell on the screen how much longer that pin gets. Moonman N2 does not post very deeply, but it makes the pin much more elongated. One thing that does at times drive me a little bit crazy is it sometimes posts a little bit crooked, and I, it, it does bother me at least, I guess, my OCD anyways. And then we have, again, our pin BBS 471. Now this one, very much like the Moonman Wonkai, actually screws to post. And I'm not gonna go in depth into this piece here. If you wanna know more about it, watch the actual review on this pen, but this just kinda of helps distribute weight for the pen. And again, that pen posts and makes it much longer. And then the Moonman Wonkai, again, screws to post as well. That's another thing to keep in mind. You have two pins up here that all of these pins you have to unscrew to uncap the pins. So if you're in a business setting, you need a pen to take quick notes, it might sometimes be annoying at times to always have to screw these pins on the post. And one of my, my probably my really only real complaint on the pen BBS 471 is sometimes it is harder to get this to screw to post. I've noticed a little bit of cross threading, especially with the metal band. Um, and that sometimes makes it difficult and makes it take longer to really be able to use the pen and write with it. Now, as far as fitting in the hand, the Delike Alpha, again, is a very nice long pen. It's very well balanced and weighted, even with the clip. The clip doesn't weigh much at all. Now, one thing you may not like is it is a very skinny pen. If you have very large fingers, you, this may not be a section that you will enjoy much. There are threads here, but I will say, even if I hold it farther back or hold right on those threads, they do not bother me. There's not much of a step down. It's a pretty easy transition, and it doesn't really bother me at all, but I typically hold it right there in the middle part of the section. And it, as you can see, fits in my hand well. Now, our Moonman N2 here is another one. There is a little bit more of a step down with the threads. They are metal, but they're not as bad. The Zyke Alpha definitely is, is nicer. But the section on this one is not my favorite. Um, it's a, definitely skinnier. Um, I typically find myself holding it back here on the threads. Um, I like the flare out design on our <clears throat> Delike Alpha here a little bit better. Um, now, as far as the overall weight of the pen, it, it, for me and my hand shape size, it feels nice. It's well balanced. The uh, clip doesn't bother me. It sits right, right here very nicely, and again, 
Not a bad pen to write with, but not my favorite. Now, the this guy here, our Pen BBS pen, I think is a very nice, comfortable design, especially with this metal piece in the middle. It's very nice and weighted very well. And the, the section, it's got a very nice long section, like a lot of Pen BBS pens. There is a, a significant step down here. So if you are somebody that holds back farther, it may bother you. For me, it does not, but I'm also not typically holding the pen right there. So if you're gonna hold it farther back, that may be something to consider because there is a step down. The threads are very nice and machined, but I'm typically holding it right there in the middle portion of the section and I have no issues with this pen whatsoever. Now our Moonman Wan Kai is our last one to look at. This is definitely the shortest out of the four. So if you're wanting a small pen, this is one to go with. For me, I enjoy writing with this pen. Some people I have seen in the comments were concerned about this step down right here. It does have a pretty nice step down, <clears throat> but I typically hold it about right there and I don't really have any issues. I've written several pages with this pen. I don't mind the step down, but for other people, you may mind that. So obviously bear that in mind. Um, if you're thinking about this pen, that might be something that will irritate you during writing sessions. But for me, it doesn't bother me at all. Fits pretty comfortably in the hand. It's a very, very lightweight pen, even full of ink, but it is a comfortable pen to write with. So form and function, you know, this one's really tough. Um, I like all four pens. I would say the Moonman N2 is probably my least favorite overall just because of the posting design with it. And again, the section and everything's not the most comfortable, but I really like all, all these other three for various reasons. Um, and it also depends upon what you're using the pen for. Is it for school? Is it for work? Is it just to use essentially? Um, it it kind of depends upon that as well. So up next guys, we will do a writing sample so you can see all four nibs in action to kind of get an idea from that perspective and we'll finish up from there. All right guys, we are back and we are going to jump into this writing session. <clears throat> All right, so our first pin up is the Delike Alpha. Now, this is an extra fine nib, but it does have the upturn. So, like I said, it kind of writes like more like a, a fine to medium almost kind of in between those two. Um, very smooth, very smooth nib. If I remember correctly, I paid around $28 to $29 for this pen. Do just a quick brown fox. You see kind of, again, some of the smoothness do a little bit of a wetness test, not bad. And the ink that I'm using is Aroshizuku Konpeki, which is a very nice ink. So there you have it. So that is our Delike Alpha. Again, very nice pen to write with, fits very well in the hand. Bear in mind that the metal versions are going to be closer to the $15 mark. And I'll write down what I said earlier. So this pen ranges about $15 to $30, just so you guys know. All right, so up next, we're gonna do our Moon Man in two. Let me post this guy. One thing, real quick, it's not the most comfortable, but I can almost write with this pen unposted. And I can almost get away with it the, the like alpha, especially if you're just taking a really fast note. So again, this is the Moon Man N2. And let me double check. Yep, yeah, this is supposed to be a fine nib. And this one, as far as that goes, ranges about 15 to 18 dollars. 
And this one's pretty smooth. Not as smooth as the Delike Alpha Nib. Definitely, it gives a little bit more feedback, but it's not bad. There you see it. Do a wetness test real quick. You can tell definitely not as wet of a rider as that Delike Alpha. And the ink that I'm using, I have to look, oh, is <clears throat> Roshizuku Mami G. So another pilot ink as well, but, and I, I've used this ink in a lot of pens. It's a, a, a pretty nice ink, a nice red and very lubricating. So not the wettest uh, pen, um, not my, my favorite pen to write with, um, but it, it, it puts ink on the paper at the end of the day. That's what it's meant to do. But as far as if you're just looking for a nice writing experience, not my favorite pen to write with. Okay, here's what I'm talking about here. So I'm trying to screw this on and just sometimes it takes a minute. It's one thing that drives me a little bit crazy about this one. So this is our pin BBS 471. <clears throat> and this is a medium nib. Pin BBS is like the only Chinese pin company that offers medium nibs. Just kind of want to throw that out there. Now this one, again, I've seen it on Etsy and eBay ranging from $14 on the low end to around $35 on the high end. This nib is very smooth. I'll even just throw that very in there. Do a quick writing sample. The ink I'm using on this one is actually a Pen BBS ink. And it's Pen BBS 281. Definitely an orange color. All right, as far as wetness goes, this pen lays down a lot of ink, very wet. Very nice, uh, gratifi gratifying writer. Um, really, really enjoy this nib. <clears throat> All right. Our last one that we have here is our Moon Man Wonkai. And this is a fine nib. I had to check again to make sure. This one's a pretty smooth rider. Um, not the wettest, but it definitely is a smooth rider overall. There you see that. The ink that I have on this one is Diamine. Ancient Copper. Wetness test on this one. Not bad. So you kind of see it, let's zoom out just a tad here. There you can kind of see all four on the screen, kind of see those wetness tests. Definitely can tell that our, you know, Delike Alpha and Pin BBS are, are pretty nice, wet, smooth riders. I definitely say our Moonman Wonkai is probably third and then our Moonman N2 is, is probably fourth. And you know, you probably saw a common theme throughout the video. My Moonman N2 is not my favorite pin. I really enjoy the material, but the overall design and, and and the the overall writing experience with a pen is, is probably my least favorite out of the four but it's not so much that the pen isn't a good pen it's just hard when you put this pen against these other three so guys try to keep the video as short as possible um, vote on which one you like the most for me it's very tough really tough decision i i, I really go back and forth between my alpha and my pin BBS 471. But honestly, I find myself grabbing my Wonkai still a lot too. And this guy, if you're just wanting a pen to take and throw in a pocket, throw in a purse, backpack, whatever, 
it's a great option right here. I mean, just a nice pen, bum around pen, so to speak. And it works very well. Works every time. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.